Hello everybody, and welcome to another cast by DKG Avos. This is me, of course, DKG Avos. And over here in the upper right hand corner, we've got me standing here as the blue Zerg. And then we have my opponent, MNM Gusatus, down in the lower left hand corner in the, uh, the red color. Thrown out the, the early game GLHF. I have to admit, though, this is a ZVZ. This is easily one of my least favorite matchups to play at the moment. It's kind of interesting to watch some of the pros play, uh, but when you start getting anywhere below, actually even Masters League, the, uh, the ZVZ just is not that interesting. It ends up being very short games for the most part. And we've got here going with the... Uh, the extractor trick just to get that 11 supply before that overlord pops out. It gives you a little bit of an advantage, but it's almost as much of an advantage as it is a waste because you see that you only got one extra trip in there with that that little drone before the overlord popped out. And it wastes about six minerals, so it's a loss of actually a mineral there. Uh, in ZVZ, my particular build is 13, 13 gas, 13 pool. It makes it so that I can get my my ling speed or banelings a little bit earlier and have that advantage over my opponent because if he is making the offensive move it means that I will have banelings before his lings get to my base or at least shortly after his his lings will get to my base and I usually have a queen up by then and you can see that my pool is not very delayed compared to his it's just a little bit behind a few seconds there but again that's the amount of time that it takes to cross this map right here We've got a decent amount of Overlord spread going on both sides. And ZVZ, for the most part, is a lot of early pressure, and whoever can counter it the best will be able to expand safely. And once the expansions are set, then it's a little bit of a, a game of catch-up. Uh, you need to be able to do either early pressure early on, or be able to defend that early pressure early on. Um, or just lose to the early pressure. And you can see here, Spinecrawler going down early. Uh, these early spine crawlers, in my personal opinion, are not quite as good as defensive banelings. The defensive banelings are mobile and a little bit cheaper. Uh, they don't cost you a drone. They will cost you one zergling, which you've got two zerglings sitting here just being idle. Now they're moving around. But you can send those, make one of those zerglings into a baneling, and you'll have almost the same defensive power, if not more, because you can take out at least six zerglings with one baneling if microed properly, and this... This spine crawler might go down to six zerglings if those zerglings are microed properly. So here are my early lings. They're coming down. And you can see over here that I do have my ling speed coming down fairly early, at least far earlier than my opponent over here, although he does have the gas income for those that baneling nest and zergling speed at the same time at the moment. And I've got a little bit of an engagement up here. It was two or four lings that were just popped into my base. And I'm chasing them out, and then I'm just going to keep going with that early pressure, because I know by the time that I get down to his base, I should have ling speed coming up pretty pretty quick. Staying on those larva injects the entire time. Got the baneling nest going. So once I get down to the base, I can morph into a few banelings and just destroy any defensive lings that he's got. And we'll see this engagement here. I realize that this is not a particularly great place for me to be, and I'm going to back out just a little bit wait for some reinforcements that are now starting to stream in and what I'm noticing in some of the ZVZ you've got a lot of people that are going with the the earlier spine crawlers a lot of spine crawlers and they're trying to defend against this early ling pressure with these spine crawlers and you can see here with a couple banelings it is very scary and if you get this surround right here you can take out almost all of them with just one baneling now I have to be a little careful because this baneling is trying, and I've got them all on the same button. Unfortunately, that is a bad detonation on my part. I need to get better with those detonations, otherwise this ling harassment's not going to do quite as much. I have delayed drone production a decent amount. You can see that it's all going into zerglings right up here. And so this ling harass is stopping his economy, but on the other side it's also stopping mine because I'm continuing to stream zerglings down here instead of continuing to produce drones at home. There's a little bit of a misclick here with the unbuildable plates. That is an issue that can happen. And I've got this queen down here, and they're starting to take things out in another bad bailing bus. That's just being on the on the same hotkey as everything else. And these zerglings here streaming down. 
down. They're not going to do so much because this, these spine crawlers are going to plant themselves, and with that queen, the spine crawlers, and a couple zerglings, they're going to do a lot of damage to my zerglings. So I just do a little run by, get up here, snipe the queen, do what damage I can, and it looks like I'm going to get a few, one, two, and it looks like about three drones there. We can check. Yeah, three drones. So I've done a little bit of harassing, and if we go over to the units tab, you can see that I'm still behind in drones, even with that harassment. But because I've got the Banelings, because I've got the Lair Tech going, and because I've got the Roach Warren, I'm a little bit further ahead in, in tech, and I haven't wasted as many minerals on Spine Crawlers, these static defenses. Well, we got a little bit of a, a drone miscue here, and I do have my, my second base up and running. It's a little bit faster than his as far as mining time, although he does currently have more drones here. This is starting to get pretty weak. Uh, if I've got enough lings or if I've got, you know, enough units, maybe roaches, I could probably snipe that fairly easily. And he's only got one queen at the moment. So that matches mine. And let's see what he's working on right now. He's just getting more lings, another queen to make up for the one that I, I sniped down. And he's also working on his lair tech. His lair tech is delayed compared to mine. I already have mine up. However, I'm not currently utilizing it in any way shape or form there's no spire normally behind the mineral line just to try and hide it is a very good place to put these spires it protects them from ling run bys if you just sneak it right back here against the mineral line because you're protected from getting complete surrounds and we've got a couple more defensive banelings going i did have our our gusatus run by with a few zerglings that just plowed right into some banelings and now I'm gonna go scout out just make sure that I'm not too far behind because I've got this overlord here that can see that there's not too much of an army at least creeping out into here he's not working on his creep spread he should be able to connect these two bases it's a lot easier to connect those two bases I've got this ling down here making sure that there's no third base that he's not trying to pull anything cheeky and get that economic advantage again and now I'm going to go scout in, try and find his army, see what his composition is, and make sure that it's something that I can handle. <clears throat> you can see that I he gets the surround, <clears throat> discontinues my scouting, because he doesn't want me to see this lair tech. And thinking that I got a few more drones than I really did, I delayed a little bit of mine, uh, mining time, and I was hoping that I'd delayed him enough that I would have lair tech and my spire up significantly before his, but my spire is just now going down, so it is a little delayed. And you can see that his spire is now not too far behind mine. And this huge ling run by coming back over here, this can be devastating for me. <clears throat> but they all just run straight into my banelings, and I've got more zerglings to come in and back this up. And he's trying to focus down the drones, but it looks like he's just A moved, and they're now hot, or automatically selecting all of my attacking units. And he's trying to get the scout on. <clears throat> he gets the scout, sees my spire, but he's not terribly worried just because he knows that my his mutas are about to be produced. And so, although my mutas are before his, by the time my mutas can cross the map, unfortunately, he will have mutas there to defend. And with this amount of queens, he's got four queens now, two at each base, and the mutas flying around, he's going to be able to defend that pretty, pretty effectively. This Roach Warren is currently being unused by me, but... Zerg being a very reactive race, it's good to have some some sort of tech just in case you need that uh, that nice wall in. It's about three or four roaches up at the top if I'm worried about a, a ling run by in the early game. That won't cost me too much. And now I've eliminated one of his overlords, just trying to get rid of a few things. And now I'm chasing his mutilus. I'm a little surprised to see these this early because, I, again, I thought I'd done a little bit more damage than I actually had. And I've got four mutilus coming through here. And it looks like I might be able to get that one and try and hightail it out of there and try and get this weakened mutilisk, but I don't get out of there in time. Now it's 4-3 to three on his side, and I have to run away. And it's just going to be a constant streaming of mutilis the entire game from here on out because that's how the, the Zerg versus Zerg meta is working right now. The advantage that I have is this 1-0 one, upgrade that's working, and I don't know if his is working or not. 
I haven't gotten a chance to get down to a spire and see whether or not it's got that undulating little vent up at the top. You can see that while it's upgrading, it starts breathing that little bit, letting you know that there's an upgrade going. I've got these zerglings just to prevent any zergling runbys. He could just as easily go through. Now he's clearing out my overlord that usually keeps on tabs of this little biosphere over here. I'm a horticulture major personally, and so I do love plants. My overlords seem to love plants. They like seeing these little biodomes. I'm going to try and secure my third base now, about the same time that I scout him going for his third base, which I'm kind of surprised that he's not moving his mutas out to snipe this overlord that's scouting this out. But there it is. He's starting to get my overlord out of there, so he doesn't. So hopefully I don't see the third base, but it's too late for that. I'm going to go ahead and try and even out my income and get more gas, because mutas are very gas-heavy. And I'm going to work on getting more drones, because you can see that at 11 to 24, this is a very low econ game. I'm fully saturated up in this main base, and this queen back here just hides behind this bailing nest. I totally missed out. And now I've got this 1-0, and we can see that he has 0-0, zero, zero, which is a little disappointing for him. And let's see if he's going to sneak in here. How many drones he's going to pull off with this? There's one. It looks like just the one. He's tried to get the second one. My queen steps in. And the mutas will chase it away. He's going to try and sneak down to the bottom. See if he can't get another drone down here. But he flies right through. Not trying to risk too much damage to those mutalists. I've got this Zergling run by going through, trying to take out this third base, just to try and get him off my back a little bit, because I know that these mutas can do a lot of damage if I leave them in my base and I don't threaten his base. I need to get this third base taken care of before he can get it up and established. I need to get my third base established, I need to put on a lot of pressure so that I can keep him out of harassing me out of my third base. I want to get this, this hatchery pretty quick so that it's not established established so he couldn't get the cancel off early and now I've cost him 300 minerals which isn't hurting him too bad at the moment he is a little heavy on the minerals he needs to even out that gas income and I see all these queens he's now got what is that wow eight eight queens it looks like that is a significant amount of queens that's enough for me to need to back out try and fly around. Queens, even on creep, they're still a little bit slower. Their movement speed is fairly quick. You know, you've got almost three movement speed on these queens. A little under two and a half. And these mutas are, are sitting at a, a comfortable four. So mutas fly significantly faster than these queens, and if I can get even some of them isolated and pick a few of them off, that'll be beneficial to me. Because with this much energy flying around, that's a lot of transfuses. Almost all of these are fully maxed out on energy. And with my mutas, I just need to keep harassing, keep producing drones, keep my economy rolling, get some queens, get some larva injects. I've got my plus two attack going on my mutilus, and he still does not have even plus one. I have a huge advantage, and I know it. I've selected one of these at least just to check the upgrades and make sure that I've got the advantage. And it seems like he knows I've got the ad advantage, and he's not wanting to engage this huge muta ball. When you've got this many mutas bunched up, it can be hard to count. It's a little difficult to tell exactly how many you have to deal with. And I have now sniped this hatchery for the second time. And just keeping going with this harassment. Non-stop, unrelenting harassment. My minerals are getting a little high here. I should be dumping this into overlords, but at this point, I know that I've got this game pretty well won. I've got a good scout of most of the map. And there's the GG, and that is ZVZ in its current meta state. All right, this has been DKG Avos, signing out.